Okay guys, quick video today to show you how to reset your WordPress installation back to default. So obviously you could do that by reinstalling the fresh using your cPanel, but the method I'm going to show you now is even simpler just by the use of one single plugin. That's all we have to do. We can install one simple plugin and the plugin is going to do all the heavy lifting, all the heavy work for us in just one day. So let me show you how we can do it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and installed a sample website here. This is taken from the Astra theme. So this is the freelance website. And if we go into the back end, you'll see that our uh, theme is installed. We have all our plugins as well installed, as you can see that go with it. We have our pages, all our pages that were created for this website. And now you want to reset everything back to default. So how can we do that? Now, very simply, all we have to do is go into plugins, add new. And in the search plugins, we're going to look for WP Reset. And as you can see, the first one here that shows up from Web Factory Limited, this is the one that we want to install. And it has over 300,000 active installations. So very reliable indeed and always up to date. So you can trust this editor indeed. So we're going to click on Install Now. There you go. And then Activate. And that's all for us now. So we can click dismiss. So the next step now is to reset our website. So the only thing we have to do now is to head to the tools department right here and click on WP reset. And if you scroll down the page, so this is the free version we're going to use. We don't need anything else. Now you can get the pro version if you want to, but there's really no need for that. Uh, scroll down the page very easily. And you can see here in that field, all we have to do is type in reset. So you have to type it physically. So reset and then click on reset site. So just to show you again, this is what our website looks like. Let me refresh. So there you go. We have a perfectly fine website, but you want to restart it, refresh it uh, and reset it back to factory settings. So do we do simply we go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard and click reset. So let's do that now. Click reset. Obviously, we get a warning. Are you sure? Yes, we want to reset. So click on the red button now. Reset WordPress. And now it's doing its thing. So depending on how much content you have on your website, it might take a bit longer. Here was fast enough because it was just a, a simple demo, obviously, you know. So now let's head back to our website and refresh again. There you go. So now, as you can see, we're back to our 2021 default theme that comes with uh, WordPress. And if you go back to our website, if you go into plugins, you can see our plugins are still there, but they all deactivated. So all we can do basically from here is just select them all. And then we can delete. There you go. These are the only steps we need to take care of manually ourselves afterwards. So it's not much work, to be honest. It's just deleting the plugins. And if you want to get rid of your theme, it's the same as well. So you go into your themes sections, click on this. And then click delete. OK. And there you go. In just a few clicks, you're now back to default. So very easy to use indeed. So now let's go and have a look at our pages as well. As you can see, all we have is our sample page and is the same with the post. So basically everything is back to default.